Hi everyone, this is the guitar tutorial for Tell Me I'm Alive by All Time Low. My name's Billy and I'm from Piano and Pies. Let's get stuck straight in. So there is a piano part at the very start. If you wanted to copy that on the guitar, it's just a C power chord. So if you have fret three on the A string, five on the D string and five on the G string and just start palm muting that. For eight counts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That will get you through the piano introduction. So the verse continues with the piano sound and there's no real guitar in it. However, if you wanted to come up with your own parts for it, the chords are C. So you can either play an open chord of C or a power chord of C. Going down to A minor or a power chord of A, which is five on the top string. Then F major or a power chord of F. And then G or a power chord of G. Now the first time round, no guitar on it, but the second time round, you hear the distorted guitar, which is where they put in some stabs. And again, you can use the open chords or power chords. I'll use the power chords. And it goes like this, the C chord. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And there's the verse. When the chorus kicks in, it's the same chords, but there's a, a lot more strumming to it. And you can strum along like this. So it's the same four chords, C major, A minor, F, G. That repeats three times round for the chorus. Now, if you wanted to, and if you are using your electric guitar, you can use the power chords and that gives you more of a rock sound. We can use the power chords of C. A, F, G. And that'll get you through the chorus and repeat that one three times. Just before we get to the next part of the video, I want to say thank you to the people on the screen, as well as letting you know if you want the chords for this, all wrote down in a neat PDF file, including all the structure and how long to strum everything for, then you can head on over to my Patreon page, which I've, uh, I have the link in the description, and you get loads of different perks, including your name on the screen, like these guys, and um, you get lots of access to things earlier than uh, what I put onto my YouTube channel. Anyway, enough about that, let's get back onto the video. There's a small link where it's just that piano part again. You can just chug away with that C power chord like you did at the very start of the song. And then it comes in with the second verse where they include the stabs, but there's also some palm muted chords. Now for that, I would recommend using the power chord version. And what you do is... see I'm stressing the chords like I did in the first verse, accenting them, but then immediately palm muting, which is just where I'm putting this part of my hand on the strings here, and you get a muted type of sound. And you could do that with the open chords. However, to get sound more authentic to what they're doing, probably the power chords would work best. And then we get to the second chorus, exactly the same as the first chorus, except this time we're going to play it four times round. Then there is a small break for two bars. It's just a C chord and you can tell something's going to happen next. That's when it gets to that really cool outro where <laughs> the drums go absolutely berserk. It's kind of like a double time feel. And there's three chords that they play, a C power chord, an A power chord, and an F power chord. So that G power chord doesn't go anywhere. Uh, we don't have it on this one. And there's kind of this double time kind of strumming pattern. So we have something like this. So when I'm strumming that, we've got You see my hands kind of constantly playing and moving up and down. Even when I don't play the strings, my hands moving up and down. And 
and those chords loop around four times before the very end, which is just a C power chord. And that's the end of the video. It's a really good song and uh, pretty straightforward. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you want to get the chords for this, head on over to Patreon. Uh, there's a link in the description. Um, however, if you don't want to do that, please like and, like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps out the channel, helps me grow, and I'm close to 1,000 subscribers. I'm getting close, so uh, I'd love it if you could help out. So thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.